What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. This is Charlie Ling. Okay, so maybe that is a little bit too much for the background information. I finally come to talk about how to choose the Olivian miners. To talk about how to choose Olivian miners, I have to cover three different brands: Gochiao, Ant Miner, and Ice River. And I'm going to introduce their models and also to talk about the pros and cons of all of these models. Okay, so to talk about the Gold Shell Olivia Miners, we have the AL Box and AL Box 2. AL Box is 360 gigahash, power is 180 watt, so the efficiency is half watt per gigahash. Today, the market price is like 1400 US dollars. And for the AL Box 2, the efficiency is almost the same because it is, looks just like doubling the earlier number of AL Box. It's 720 giga hash, 360 watt. And the price is just like almost doubling the AL Box prices. It is $2,760 on the GoShell website. Let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros is from the GoShell company, when you want to mine lithium, you're getting the stock. So perhaps you're going to mine more coins because there are no other lithium miners because of very little competition. However, the cons, first of all, is that that kind of unfair advantage of early mining will last only for one month. And another downside, it is not as efficient. For example, it is not as efficient as even the starting model of Ice River Elithia Miner, AL0. It is half less efficient than AL0. The Gochiao representative told me, no, our price is still justified because in this one month, we're going to give you more coins. With the profit of the coins, the price will be the same as AL0. But I found a catch. What is the catch? After one month, the machine that you have with the Gochiao company will be only half efficient as AL0. What does that mean? You will be enjoying one month of early mining, but only one month. After that, the kind of price you pay for the AL box is the same as the AL0. But after one month, your machine will be like half efficient. And that is the same for the AL box too. That may lead to another downside is that the price is not cheap enough. If the price is a lot cheaper, then getting earlier mining with AL box does make sense. But so far, I have not seen Gochiao has become ready to relent on their price. But let's see what's gonna happen next. Okay, the second brand of Elithia miners is Ant Miners. We have to say Ant Miners does look like a little falling behind for all the old coin mining, especially in the past one year. They're just a little responding too slowly to this. They are not as acute to the opportunity of altcoin mining. The rumor goes the Casper developers, in the beginning they went to the Bitman company and they talked to the Bitman company, can you do a Nasdaq miner for our coin? And the Bitman said no. And then they went to iServer. The Rice iServer said yes. So we do have to admit that Bitman company Although they are the king of ASIC manufacturing, sometimes they respond a little bit too slow to some new opportunities. Okay, so let's talk about the AL1 ant miner. The hash rate is 15.6 terahash. It is a behemoth. The power is 3,510 watt. The price is very high. Like I said in the beginning, in the secondary market, after the coupon price can go be 31,000 to 32,000. Well, people have to charge you for the cost of the coupons as well. So let's talk about the pros and cons of AL1. The pros are very obvious. It is a behemoth. It is a very big machine. It is very powerful. In the beginning, I thought this is perhaps the only upside of the AL1. But later I realized that maybe it is exactly the high price that will give us more opportunities. What is the opportunity? It is less competition. Because the price is too high, there will be very few buyers of the AL1 because the number is just ridiculous. And there will be less competition, not just because of the high price and also because the audience of lithium is still very small. So there will be very few buyers of the AL1 regardless. This miner is a little bit different than the KS3 or KS5 Pro because the foundation of Casper mining is already very strong. But today, when they launched the AL1, the foundation of Alifian mining is still very weak. The coin is just not well known at all. So it means there might be more opportunities than the Casper mining when they launched the KS3. 
Okay, let me cover the cons of the AR1 now. There are three possible downsides. The first downside is on the risk side. If we have to find something similar to AR1 in the Casper miners family from the Bateman company, it is KS3 or KS5 Pro. KS5 Pro was launched in the end of February this year, of course. The price was crazy. It is almost like 32,000. And today, the end of August delivery will be approximately just $11,000 or a little bit higher than that. The drop is too high. The risk is too high. Even if Bitmain Company does not launch any more Alifia miners later, the price of the AL1 ASIC miner from the Bitmain Company is very likely to drop massively. And if they are going to repeat the pattern of their Casper miners, the game will be very scary. Maybe they're going to launch AL1 Pro or AL2 later in the year and that will squash the price of AL1 today. The second downside is on the quality. There is no ready stock of AL1 yet, but I'm raising this concern just because of another big miner from the Bateman company. It is the KS5 and KS5 Pro. I heard that the KS5 is very bad quality. And you might think, okay, so that means KS5 Pro is going to be way better quality? The answer may not be solid because I actually went to North Carolina to visit a client who hosted many KS5 Pro machines. They actually had dozens of KS5 Pros from their client that went broken. And they purchased the KS5 Pro at a very high price, over $30,000. Although we know the Bitmain company does have warranty centers, they have service centers where you can send the miners to, but to fix the miners takes time. When you are just waiting for the miners to be ready after repair, you are already losing a lot of money. Well, of course, it's still too early to say the AL1 is going to repeat the quality of KS5 or KS5 Pro. I'm just saying this is a too expensive miner. Even if the quality is perfect, what if there's just one miner that gets broken? It is still losing a lot of profit for the client because they paid so much high price in the beginning. The third downside is the future competition. And maybe I mentioned it a little bit earlier too. Maybe the Bateman company will launch AL1 Pro or AL2 in the future or very soon. Because with Casper Miners, they launched the KS3, 8.2, 9.4 TeraHash, but later they had KS5 and KS5 Pro today. That's going to render the earlier behemoth of Casper Mining worthless. So let's wish the Bateman company is not going to launch more Alifia Miners. Or maybe they should, because that is just a game of business. Okay, that's pretty much enough for the AL1 with the end miners. Let me cover the Ice River models now. There's only one model that is AL0. The AL0 is going to be 400 gigahash at 100 watt. That is very low. The efficiency is, is only one fourth of watt per gigahash. That is like doubling the efficiency of AL Box and AL Box 2. We have to admit that Ice River has been a dark horse of Casper miners for at least one year. And it's very likely they are going to repeat the success that they did with the Casper miners. And it does look like they're showing great potential because they are starting with a very low price. It is only $820 with power supplies included. And even the model number sounds very humble. They start with zero. They don't start with one even. Okay, let me talk about the pros and cons of AL0 for now. The pros are on the efficiency. And the second upside is that it is so cheap. If it's so cheap, it means even if you lose everything, you don't lose a lot. So the risk is very small. But let me talk about the cons. There might be two downsides. The first is the quality. Well, Ice River has not been famous for quality. They have been famous for low price, but not for quality. Even the Gosha representative told me Ice River sucks in quality. And actually on my side, my client has complained a lot about the Ice River machines. Most of all for the large machines like KS3M, KS5L. Especially in the southern part of America where the humidity and the heat is much higher, the Ice River machines can go wrong very easily. Okay, what is the second con I want to cover about the Ice River AL0? It is a very small risk, but still risk. Where does the risk come from? If the Ice River company is going to follow their old pattern, which they already practiced for the Casper miners, there will be more batches of Alifia miners down the line. It does look like very likely Ice River is going to do it. There probably will be AL1, AL2, AL3, AL3M, AL5, AL5M, AL5L even. 
isn't it? Because that is already the pattern we have already seen with the Casper miners with Ice River Company. Okay, so maybe this is pretty much for the, today's ASIC miner updates. I've covered the background information of the AL miners, and I also cover three different brands for the Alifia miners. I look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.